Hi, everybody. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes to make sure people can hop on to this video um, and that you can see and hear me okay. Um, if you're seeing this, can you comment hi? Um, just so I know that the audio is okay in the video. I just thought I would hop on um, to talk about um, our August in-person review and what this situation means for us. Um, we're going to talk about some study tips. There are hundreds of people studying with us right now. So let's talk about how that's going. Don't mind my hair, guys. I mean, we can't go to the hairdresser, so it just is what it is. But these lights really make it a um, little more obvious. That's okay. Can somebody comment on this video and say hi? Let me know that you can hear me. Um, I don't want to get too far in not knowing if you guys can hear me or not. Awesome watching from Kenya. I love it. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Um, a lot of frontline workers, obviously, on this Empowerment Nursing page. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys can hear me okay? Fantastic. Um, so I hope everyone is staying home, staying safe, um, doing all of the things, staying sane uh, also. So typically, this time of year is when and around we would be announcing our August in-person live review. We do have a live review every August. Um, obviously... Obviously, with the unpredictability of the current situation, that's not going to happen. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, what that means for everybody who's studying with us. So, I don't know, show of hands if you guys can relate to this. Myself, going through school, I 100%, and then I did a master's degree. Um, that involved a little bit of online learning. But I, when if you said to me online, I was like, nah. I'm out. I have to hold a book in my hands. I have to have interaction. I need to be stimulated. I need somebody who's energetic, exciting, engaging, all those things. Or I'm not like, I'm not going to sit there in my room for hours and study. So does online learning scare away anybody else? Tell me, because this was my big um, feedback. Like throw me a hands up emoji if you can relate to that. You have to be, I always thought you had to be like super disciplined um, all of this stuff to partake in online learning. So I was really adamant um, in the beginning of our program years and years ago that we needed to have a physical book. It couldn't be like online book. I know that's like, um, hi Mel, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I know that's like the future is on, the future is online. Um, but I need a book, like I need to highlight stuff and I need to color stuff and I'm coming at you live from my bedroom because um, we're on quarantine. So this isn't, you know, spiffy business like, and that's okay. I'm sure most of you are watching from your bedroom. So anybody else relate to that? Just getting back to what I was saying, online learning, not for me. For me, mm -mm, online learning was not for me. So we wanted to have options. We do live reviews and we do online reviews. Right now, obviously, we can't do live reviews. Our April live review, May live review was all sold out. We were so excited. This is honestly was the live review I was most excited for of ev like ever. And that's because Team Bully, if you're watching, just shout me out. Team Bully was going to be there, which was my very first full-time professor clinical group. Um, not my first clinical group, but my first full-time clinical group, and I just adore them all. And so I was so excited. They were basically all, um, a good majority of them going to be at the live review. And now we had to swap to online. But let me tell you, and I know this is a biased opinion because I'm one of the creators and administrators, administrators of this program, but I really want to talk about how our program works one-on-one, -on -one. you can comment, you can ask questions, I can see your questions and I can respond to them live. This isn't a pre-filmed video, um, so you can literally ask me anything. Hey Mel, thanks so much for joining me. Um, so I want to show you firsthand and describe to you exactly what arrives at your door, exactly what's in it, exactly how it works and how it's different. Because I'm telling you, it is different. You can ask anybody who's ever taken our program, this sounds like a total sales pitch, but I'm, I promise you, 
It is not like anything else out there. It is completely different. It's not like anything you learned in school. It's not like any other online program. It's not like any other prep course that's out there. It's completely different. I'm going to show you why. So when you order a web-based live review, it is our live review on film. So the exact same teaching and information that somebody who attends our live review gets, minus a little bit of my sarcasm, because, you know, that's on film, pre-filmed, um, is the exact same teaching of our web-based live review. So I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to show you how it works. So when you order, this is what arrives at your door. Yay! I just had a really awesome person on Instagram shout out, um, share to her story, unboxing this program. So we're super pumped to get started with her. And I, I probably should have taken the tape off first, but I didn't because I wanted you to know, like, literally this is how it arrives and what it looks like. There's something about unboxing. There's like a super famous person on YouTube that makes millions of dollars just opening boxes. What is that about? <laughs> right? Isn't that, like, that's a true thing. That's a real thing. So I just hope I don't cut myself with these scissors. If you have questions about our program, now's the time. Put them right in the comments. I'm going to answer them as they come up. If you're studying right now and you have a comment or a question, put it right there in the comments. You can share this video. Um, I will post it afterwards. So here's what comes in the mail. Okay. This is exactly how it opens. I literally haven't opened this yet. So, in this package, we have our cue card package. I'm going to tell you what's in there. And we have our complete, almost 300 page textbook. We do also have, I meant to grab this one second, sorry. Um, CPNRE, complete CPNRE packages, as well as bridging packages from P and NQ. Okay, so let me tell you what's in this textbook and what makes it totally different. Oh, it's so shiny and new. <laughs> the textbook I teach from is like all beat up, so this feels so shiny and new and pretty. So I'm going to tell you the actual chapters in the textbook. So I'm reading this table of contents for the chapters. There is about the NCLEX, so the information on the actual exam. The daily review, which is this cue card package. I'm going to read to you exactly what's in here. Body balance, which includes all of your electrolytes, acid-base balance, acid-base. If you struggle with it, oh, I hope you do because acid-base balance is going to blow your mind. We teach it completely. I teach it with a party horn and you will know acid-base for the rest of your days. I promise you. Um, body balance also talks about fluid regulation, Hormonal fluid regulation. Say hi to me, guys. There's so many of you watching and nobody's talking. Don't be shy. We're all nurses. We can't be shy. There's lots of shy nurses and you can be shy and that's okay. I'm just kidding. Um, we also have the endocrine system. So all of, those memor all, of the, all of those things I used to memorize about aldosterone and all that hormonal regulation. That was a nightmare. New ways to know it. Memorizing, gone out the window, understanding um, and critical application coming at you. The respiratory system, one of my favorite systems. We use a balloon a lot in that system to demonstrate chest tubes, fun stuff like this. Cardiac, it's the best system in the world, it's the cardiac system. Anybody who's been taught by me ever, which is thousands of people, or has taken this program knows that cardiac, hands down, my favorite system. I can give it to you inside out, backwards. We don't want it going backwards though, because that's called heart failure, right? Left side backs up to the lungs, right side backs up to the rest of the body. You feel me? Um, renal system. So a way to know the renal labs and understand them like you've never understood them before. GI system, not my favorite. Just being honest. Neurological system, musculoskeletal, pediatrics, maternal newborn, psychiatric, management and delegation if you are an NCLEX taker. Diagnostic procedures and all of the safety you need to know around those diagnostic procedures. So instead all of the di sorry, I got a phone call. Instead of memorizing all of the diagnostic procedures, um, you're just gonna. I should have put myself on do not disturb because my mother keeps calling me. Mom, if you could see this, please stop calling. Um, pediatrics, maternal, maternal newborn, management delegation, diagnostic procedures, important one pagers. This is probably my favorite 
um, component of the entire textbook that talks about delegation, prioritization. So it gives you like, what's the actual right answer? Do you call the doctor first or do you do this first? Does it actually require further assessment or can you just intervene? And when, you know, when there's two right answers, except there's only one, right? You're like, yeah, all of nursing. <laughs> Um, important one pagers will tell you what the right answer is in all those situations. Not all, not every situation under the universe, but you know what I'm saying. Um, critical thinking guide, testing tips, and then a message from us to you. Here's what the inside of the textbook looks like. It is all study map format. We do a lot of drawing, a lot of creative teaching. That's what the inside of the textbook looks like. So it's all ready study notes. You do not have to make study notes. You're not watching somebody teach you and making notes. You have the notes. Somebody is teaching you and you're absorbing it. You might be drawing a picture to better memorize it or remember it later, better understand it, but you're not having to scribble down everything somebody says in a video. It's all here already, okay? So that is the textbook in a nutshell. And then what's in the daily review cards? I'm going to read it to you. Included in these study cards, the daily review cards, they're kind of broken up half pharmacology, half other stuff. Um, so in these daily review cards, we call it daily review cards because as you're studying to write your registration exam, you're studying over a period of time. So it's not like you're studying for seven days. Ah, thank you so much. You're studying with us. Awesome. What's your favorite system so far? Cardiac. Let me know. Let me know. What's been your favorite part so far? I want to know. I'm going to be waiting for your answer here. Um, you're studying for a prolonged period of time, right? So you're not studying for five days. You're not studying for seven days. So a big portion of like, how do I do this? Is that there's certain things that just aren't fun and require memorization, memory work, but then there's understanding all the other stuff. But how do you start? How do you study for four weeks and the stuff that you're memorizing like day one, how are you going to maintain that from the beginning to the fourth week? Like if you study lab values in week one and you're writing in four or five weeks, are you going to remember all of those lab values come the end of your study process? The daily review package solves that problem. So basically, it's flashcards that you go through every day. A lot of people break it up. The pharmacology one day, the lab values and other stuff, which I'm going to read to you another day. And you repeat that every day. So this is like the memorization stuff that's never going to get into your long term memory. I mean, to a certain extent, it will, um, but requires a lot of short term memory work. So in this cue card package, we have lab values. Vital signs for adult, vital signs for children, um, accelerations and decelerations for a newborn, APGAR scoring, Fontanelle closures, Lokia, stages of development by Erickson. <laughs> the immunization, no offense, Erickson, but nobody likes to memorize it. The immunization schedule, cardiac intervals, cardiac rhythm strips, cranial lobes, Glasgow coma scale, range of motions, Fowler's positions, percussion sounds, BMI, ulcer staging, PPE, conversions, um, meaning like tablespoon to a teaspoon, mils to um, like milliliters to microliters, micromillimeters. Why can't I come up with that word right now? Micrograms to milligrams is what I'm trying to say. Um, blood compatibility charts, all of the must know pharmacology meds and antidotes for overdose. So what happens is this package arrives to you in the mail, how it works. The package comes to you in the mail, okay? Then you log in on our website and we have a video for each chapter. So you will log in and you will watch the body balance chapter. And it's literally us, two full-time professors of nursing with years of experience. We both have master's degrees. Linda almost has her PhD. Um, we teach this entire book to you. So it's not like we ship you the book and you got to teach it to yourself and learn it all. We ship you the book and then you log in and we teach it to you. And we are not sitting down once in any of the teaching. We are standing up. We are drawing pictures. We are using props. We use a party horn. We use balloons. We use um, a Barbie doll. 
Um, we use a minion. What's some other things we use? We draw absolutely everything. We use water bottles. We use actual physical things to demonstrate concepts. So concepts that were difficult before that you, you read it in a textbook and you just never understood it, you will understand it. You will understand things for the first time that you've never understood before because we teach it creatively. And then we have you draw pictures and it sticks. It sticks. Anybody that's ever studied with us can tell you the picture that they draw, for example, for um, congestive heart failure. They can tell you the picture that they draw for um, why they draw. I'm gonna tell you the picture we draw. Why do we draw blowfish? Everything is amazing, of course. Cardiac is number one. Lots of information and very concise and clear. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for your comment. Yes, cardiac is the best. So why do we draw puffer fish? We draw a puffer fish for a certain disease and it represents like five concepts you need to know about that. I'm going to give it, it's COPD. I can't keep a secret. It's COPD. Okay. You draw a puffer fish for COPD and it demonstrates a thousand concepts and you immediately know I've had people message me like four years after taking our program five years after taking our program saying oh I was in work to you and I had this patient I walked in they looked like this immediately and knew what to do I was like the puffer fish this is what we do this is the first thing we do and it's that is the best feedback because it sticks with you so it's not just about studying and passing I know that's everybody's short-term goal but I'm telling you, it makes you a better nurse at the bedside because you understand things like you've never understood them and you remember them like you've never remembered them. And then you apply them with confidence. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Got mine two weeks ago and I'm loving it. We're so happy. I love hearing from you guys. Don't be, don't be shy. Talk to me. I love hearing from you. So after we ship this to you, like it's so different. It's not like we're not sitting down in front of like 70s wallpaper and it's hard to pay attention and you're falling asleep. It's interactive, it's fun, it's engaging, um, it's exciting. We're really like, I'm super hyped up when I teach. It's I love teaching, it's what I do. I get super excited about it and that just naturally translates. Um, in the delivery of our program. So for me, like I got to get that across because for me, online learning, I was like, no, all I picture is like somebody sitting on a couch from the seventies in front of like eighties wallpaper with puff sleeves, like talking, you know, and says should be taken with food. And you don't, you're, you're writing notes and pausing it every 20 seconds because you're trying to write down everything they're saying. That is not what this is. Okay. Not what this is at all. So I want everybody to understand that's not what this is. So after we ship it to you, right now because of COVID-19 and the situation, testing is really um, up in the air for a lot of individuals. So usually our online review is 90 days access, but we are automatically giving 120 days access, which means four months. So if you are writing, let me swap this out. If you are writing the CPNRE, this is the perfect time to start because you're likely writing September, October, you'll have four months of unlimited access to all the video teaching. And then here's what I think is the best part. You're not studying on your own. Like we're, we don't just like here, let's ship you our product. And then, you know, here's the textbook. Here's the cue cards. Have fun. Hope you pass. No, we are on call professors of nursing, full-time professors of nursing. On call means I live in the messenger of this Facebook page. I live here. I often respond to messages at one o'clock in the morning. Does not matter. I mean, if I'm sleeping, obviously, I don't, you know. Um, but we answer, you have access to professors, full time professors of nursing at your fingertips. You watch something and you're like, I just want to make sure I got this right. You send us a message. We write, we write you back. We do. It's not some like Autobot. Okay, it's, it's real professors of nursing responding to your content questions, not just content questions, confidence questions. So I'm studying, I'm not quite sure I'm ready. I, I write tomorrow, I'm freaking out. Um, can you help me? Can you help me strategize? I'm struggling with time management. Whatever it is, you message us, we are there for you. Because we honestly care and your success is our success. We take your success very, very personally. Even though there are literally hundreds of people studying this program right now, 
Um, we do a pretty good job of pre, that word's not going to come to me, predicting, I'll just use predicting, it's not the word I'm looking for, but you know, we do a really good job of predicting your questions in advance, so we tend to address them throughout the video, the video library, so um, to save on those types of questions you might have, um, but for example, somebody messaged me today and said, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there about select all that apply questions for the NCLEX. Um, is it really, can it really be one or all of them? Um, absolutely, yes, it can be. It can be one answer. It can be all of the options. Um, so things like that. We know all about the NCLEX exam. We know all about the CPNRE exam. So if you have any questions about that exam, about the content you're studying, um, we invite you to send us a message. Message us. Don't be shy to message us, okay? Don't be shy if you're looking into our program um, to ask about it. Um, all of the reviews on our Facebook page are completely real people. There are companies that engage in false testimonies. Uh, we are not one of those companies. So everything you read on our Facebook page is completely real people. You can literally message them and be like, hey, tell me about your experience. Cardiac! And they will tell you. So, study tips. Let's talk about study tips. So, a lot of people struggle with, I don't know how many chapters I should do per day. The reason we don't have a general study schedule is because everybody has different life circumstances, right? You have some people who are single parents working a nine to five job, trying to study for a few hours at night get it in whenever they can. Then you have people who are maybe laid off right now due to the situation and they're looking to put in eight, 10 hours a day. So we don't have, we do have study plans that we can send you, um, but what we recommend is a minimum of four weeks of full-time or the equivalent studying. So that means like an average of 40 hours per week for four weeks to get a good handle on it. Now, um, a question we get often is, do we have a test bank? Do we have a question bank? We are not a question bank. We have interactive test questions on our YouTube channel and on this Facebook page. They're easier to find on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is N-Powerment Nursing. Um, and at the end of each chapter, we have how to rock the NCLEX or rock the CPNRE sections. So basically what we've done is we've run thousands of practice questions and yes, study tips, 100%. We've run thousands of test questions. When you're running test questions, okay, the point of running test questions is you're testing your knowledge after, after keyword there, after you've studied. So after you've already studied content, you're testing your knowledge. If you're running test questions before you've studied, you're gonna freak yourself out, you're gonna think you remember nothing from nursing school and you're gonna get very discouraged. That's not how you wanna start your study process, okay? So do not start with test questions. Test questions come after studying. Now, when you're running test questions, the whole point of running test questions is A, to test your knowledge, and B, to take a rationale away from that test question that you can apply to any question, okay? What does that look like? That's a lot of work, let me tell you. I know that's a lot of work because we did it all for you. Um, so a rationale would sound a little something like this. Early symptoms of laryngotracheal bronchitis inspiratory strider and restlessness. Meaning, if you have a test question where a patient has inspiratory strider and restlessness, you should know that that is an early symptom of laryngeotracheobronchitis. Why did I pick the hardest thing to say? Why? Respiratory distress looks like restlessness and tachypnea, restlessness. If you've taken our program, you absolutely know without a doubt, don't even need to think twice about it. The number one sign and symptom of respiratory distress, distress is restlessness. Why? Because we hammer that home. Restlessness, restlessness, restlessness. Anybody taking your program right now, tell me what are the two things that corticosteroids cause? Two things. If you've taken our program, you know those two things, you don't even need to think about them. Two things. I'm not going to say it. Because if you've taken our program, you should know the answer to that. I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna just wait till somebody tells me the answer. Somebody comment, come on. There's lots of you watching. <laughs> Corticosteroids cause, I'll give you one of them, hyperglycemia and one other thing. 
you don't know it, you should. You will, if you haven't got to that chapter yet. You will. If you took our live review five years ago, you'll know the answer to that question. <laughs> Absolutely will know. Knowledge save, saves lives, right? So let's not forget that we're, we're studying to save somebody's life. I know that's a... It can. You got that right. Yes. It's net. Ha. I love it. Instant knowing. Yes. Yes. Hyperglycemia and infection. 100%. 100. That knowledge, knowing those two things, steroids cause hyperglycemia and infection will get you so many correct answers. So many correct answers. You won't even have to think about it. You'll be like, B, C, D, got this. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It made me so happy. I was like, oh, are the people watching really not going to know? <laughs> of course you know. Of course you know. I love it. Um, studying with us is fun. Okay. I, I graduated nursing school. I don't, I don't, is this I don't brag about this I'm very very humble I don't even let my students call me professor <laughs> I'm very humble I only say this so you understand that I was freaking out too okay I graduated nursing school with a 99.89 academic perfection academic distinction $50,000 in undergraduate scholarships and I was terrified to be an independent practice nurse. I was terrified to write my NCLEX exam. Terrified, why? Because to graduate with that type of average, obviously I was a perfectionist. So if you told me I needed to know 15 chapters and 500 slides, I knew it. I knew all of it, every word of it. I overstudied, well, for the NCLEX, my big fear was I can't do that this time. Like I, I don't know what I need to know. I can't study to perfection. It was the fear of the unknown that really, really had me gripped. So despite, 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 despite graduating with like almost perfect grades, I was terrified. Ah, I was terrified. So I get it. I know what that feels like. I understand what that feels like and it's completely normal. But what we like to do is take the fear out of your study process because we tell you exactly what you need to know. We have already packaged it for you. We ship it to your door and then we teach it to you and we tell you how to apply it. And it is, I, I will say, and this doesn't come from a place of arrogance, it is life-changing because it takes the whole fear of the study process and just turns it into something totally empowering. And that is why our name is Empowerment Nursing because that is what our goal is give you everything you need to know, how you need to know it, how you're going to apply it, support you through it with content and confidence, um, and then celebrate your success together. And there has been a lot of success, hyperglycemia and infection. That just makes me so happy. Hyperglycemia and infection. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to come on here live one day and it's going to be like, if you are studying with us, this is going to be like a rapid round. Do you know? What else can I do? Um, what is the number one intervention for somebody with COPD? Somebody tell me. Think about the puffer fish. What's the number one? The, no, there's only one right answer. Number one intervention for the patient with COPD that you're going to teach them. So the number one thing you're going to teach a patient with COPD. Tell me what that is. I'm going to have a drink of my Gatorade while I wait. warm Gatorade not lovely there's people watching somebody tell me see I don't know if there are people that are trying to decide whether or not they want to join our program or already have so I'm counting on my studiers here number one thing you're gonna teach somebody with COPD think of the puffer fish and the reason we draw it the way we yes Farina with the right answer I love it and the, these folks aren't sitting there with their books. They know this stuff. Absolutely. Purse-lipped breathing. This is why we draw a puffer fish with big lips. Purse-lipped breathing. Number one intervention to teach a patient who is suffering from COPD. Now I got to teach it. Now I got to teach it to you. There's, there's a bunch of you watching. I got to teach it to you. If you haven't taken our program yet. I never liked as a student when there was like, oh, everybody participate in this activity, but this works. Okay. So yes, purse lip breathing. Yes, you know it. You know it. Okay. 
So take a big deep breath in. Take a big deep breath in. Everybody do it, everybody that's watching. Deep breath in and blow it all the way out. Blow it all the way out. Awesome. It's so gratifying. Now take a deep breath in. Blow it out and stop. Do you feel like the pressure that's in your chest when you don't expel all of the air? That is how people that have COPD feel all of the time. This pressure in their chest. That's what barrel chest it is. It's an ability to expire the air completely, which is why we teach them to do purse breathing. Because when you do, you can blow out that air even more. And I could go on about how that's important because they retain acid. So by blowing out the acid with my party horn, you know, I just, I can't, I'm so excited. I just want to teach everybody everything right now. Of course, Farina. Um, it's so exciting. So this gives you a little insight into how well all of my people commenting know their stuff um, and how we teach it totally. It's very, I get very excited about it. Um, because we teach everything very, very differently. And it's like, in, I can't even describe it. It's like you instantly know. You instantly know things. And not to say you didn't know them before, but you know them in this instant knowing kind of way, which may be new to you. Because if you graduated nursing school, you are already smart, okay? You are already accomplished. If you graduated nursing school, you are already there, okay? Don't knock yourself, don't doubt yourself. You are already there, all right? You already have what it takes or you would not have gotten through nursing school. It is after all the hardest thing in the universe. <laughs> and I have twins. <laughs> I gave birth naturally to twins and nursing school is the hardest thing in the universe. <laughs> so <laughs> I say that with the utmost confidence. You're already capable, you already have what it takes. It's already there somewhere. You guys are superstars, okay? You are superstars and you are capable um, and we will help you get there. It's our privilege and honor to help you get there. So I just thought I would hop on and say like, we're super sad that we can't have an August live review it's very unfortunate. We love having live reviews. Just the the com the the team building, the group, um, the group building, and just the love. Honestly, that happens in those four days is absolutely amazing. We all cry on the last day. We do. It's a life changing experience every single time we do it. Um, and we can't do it right now because, of course, we represent the front line. We are the most trusted profession, so we have to be abiding by um, all of the recommendations right now. I hope everybody on here is staying safe to the best of your ability, um, but I wanted to show everyone firsthand what this package actually looks like. We have NCLEX packages, we have CPNRE packages, they all come with the cue cards. We have bridging packages for PN to NCLEX writers. We have NCLEX PN packages. Uh, we literally have something for everybody. Um, the Rex PN is coming to Ontario and British Columbia, and we are already um, prepared for that. That's not happening until, 20, I want to say, 2022 off the top of my head. Um, but I just wanted everyone to kind of understand how our program works um, and that it's not your typical online learning at home by yourself. That's not what it feels like at all. It kind of feels like one-on-one -on -one tutoring, I've heard from a lot of individuals. Another question we get asked often is, um, does anybody take your program while they're still in school? So our program is obviously meant to prepare someone to write their licensing exam. However, we do gather feedback in survey form for everybody that ever takes our online as well as our live review. And some of the most common feedback we ever receive um, is that I wish I'd taken your program sooner. Like I wish I would have had it in third and fourth year to get me through complex med search is um, what a lot of individuals say. Um, so that is the feedback of other individuals. We don't claim to replace any textbook. We don't claim to prepare you for any specific class, but we do get that feedback often. Um, our online review right now is not 90 days, it's 120 days. If you're having issues booking your NCLEX exam, we can extend beyond that because we understand testing right now is not within your control. We get that. 
Um, so we're, we are going to be there for you to support you through that. Um, we're on call professors, so you can message us anytime with content questions. I live in this Facebook pages messenger as does our technical support team. If you have, not very often we have technical issues, but if you have, like you can't log in for some reason, um, there is always somebody here for you. So you are not alone. Thank you, Farina. It is our pleasure to be studying with you right now. Um, we really do celebrate each and every one of you and um, just know that you are all supported. And if you have study questions, anything else you guys wanna chat about, um, you can put it in the comments if you have like, I'm studying right now, struggling with this. Um, I'll just give you the opportunity to ask a question before I sign off here. Because this is live, live coming right at you from my bedroom. I'm surprised we haven't seen a little tiny 10 year old waltz in here yet. <laughs> my kids like to make appearances. If anybody has any questions, everyone's gonna be shy. Nobody's gonna put a question on the live video, that's okay. If you catch this, I'm gonna post this. So if you catch this on the replay, um, you'll know it's the replay because it won't say live. Right now I'm live, so you can see here, it says live in the top. Uh, if you're looking at it, I believe that's your left-hand corner. Um, so if you see the live thing here, I'm live right now. Um, but if you're catching this on the replay, um, you can still ask questions or if I post this to our YouTube channel, which is N-Powerment Nursing and you catch it on YouTube, you can post comments there as well. Um, we have tons of interactive test questions on our YouTube channel. So if you're wanting to do practice questions, we have interactive video questions on our YouTube channel where we talk about the question and the rationale and relate it back to the content. It's very interactive. Um, Absolutely, Farina. Here's the thing, we get, asked, that's a great question. So Farina is asking, is empowerment nursing the only thing we need to study with? 100%. Here's why. If you know all 300, there's 297 pages. If you know all 297 pages of this, and you know all 324 of these cue cards, you're going to pass. If you know it inside out and backwards. How much more content are you going to add? How much more content are you going to study? If you start adding this textbook and that textbook and this other, you're gonna get confused, you're gonna feel overwhelmed. You can study to eternity. You can study for 25 years and you could still get a question on the NCLEX that you don't know the answer to. You don't need to know everything. Absolutely, Farina. If you have this program and you know it inside out, upside down and backwards, absolutely, you are solid gold, 100%. That's if you combine that with emotional readiness, right? So you have to have your head in the game. So we do a lot of coaching in our program as well. It's not just content, there's also coaching. We do a lot of coaching around emotional readiness and how you should prepare for test day and what kind of headspace you have to be in. Um, specific things you can do to plan for test day, specific, specific things you can do the day of, um, to mentally prepare yourself. We talk you through the test, um, things you should say to yourself, when you should take a break, what that looks like and why. And we, I'm telling you right now, everybody, um, not everybody, but a majority of individuals do not know how important emotional readiness is to success. It's like, yeah, even at our live reviews that are four days long, eight hour days, they're long days, but everyone's excited and we have a great time. We talk about emotional readiness on day one and everyone's kind of like, yeah, get to the content, get to the textbook, like, right? Get to the meat and potatoes of it. I want to open this book and I want to learn the things. And we're like, trust us, emotional readiness. We're telling you, you will thank us later. You don't even know you need it until you're sitting in the chair. And it, we hear from almost everybody I am so glad you prepared me emotionally. I am so glad you had that video walking me through test day. I'm so glad you told me that I should take a break at 75 questions. I'm so glad you go through like, don't abandon your ship and things you need to say to yourself and reminding myself that I don't need to know everything and it's okay if I didn't know the answer to that. To, um, treating every individual question as it comes, right? So being in the right headspace when you write is just as important as knowing 
all of this. If not, I would venture to say, I don't want to say it's more important because you need to know your content, but you can know all the content in the universe and you can go in there, freak out and forget everything. Okay. But we prepare you so you don't do that. We're very specific in how we prepare you. And it's because we know we have prepared thousands of graduates to write the registration exam. We've had focus groups with them. We're still in contact with them. We talk to them about their exam experience afterwards. Um, we know you need to be emotionally prepared. So emotional preparation with content knowledge. Sorry, that was a very long winded answer, but I'm a long winded individual. So yes, knowing it all, you're golden, but you got to know you know it all and you got to predict how you're going to behave. For me, I knew, okay, I know my content. They're not going to get me on content. Yeah, for sure. There might be some random med. Oh, Hannah, I just want to squeeze you. <laughs> yes, for sure. There may be content. If you're just tuning in, catch it on the replay. So you see it right from the start. Cause now I'm like into some deep stuff. Um, that's okay. I love talking to you guys. So, uh, what was I saying? I got distracted when Hannah joined cause she's like one of my favorite students I ever taught. Um, totally lost my train of thought. What was I saying guys? Tell me. What was I saying? I don't even know. That's awful. Oh, me. Okay. Yeah. You got to know how you're going to behave. Exactly. So for me, I knew, okay, content, I've got it nailed down. Yeah, for sure. There might be like some random med that ain't nobody ever heard of. Like nobody has ever heard of that medication. It doesn't have an ididine at the end. It doesn't have an ON at the end. It doesn't have like no beta blockers, no LOL. I cannot relate this to anything. That might happen. And if that happens, I'm going to laugh about it because I could have studied for 45 years and never come across this random medication that ain't nobody ever heard of. Okay. So I prepared myself for that because I knew content when it came to me, con I know it inside out, upside down and backwards because I over prepare and I'm a perfectionist and I'm going to know my content. So I knew my content wouldn't get me, but there's always stuff like it's the unpredictability. So I prepared myself for it. I was like, okay, here's what's going to happen to Ashley when she writes her NCLEX exam she's gonna be like pumped up okay I got this I've done everything I could possibly do I'm gonna sit down if I don't know the answer to one question I'm gonna freak out and I'm gonna lose my mind because I'm a perfectionist and I'm gonna be like oh if I would have studied longer I would have known that and I knew I should have looked that up and I was gonna totally defeat myself mentally so I prepared myself for that knowing how I would behave okay it's very specific if you know you're going to behave that way you have to prepare yourself for it If you're studying for your exam and you're having difficulty retaining, how does one know if they're actually retaining? Okay, so the first time, good question. The first time, hey Jen. The first time, the first time you open this package and you read it, you're gonna be overwhelmed. The first time you read through the daily review cards, you're gonna be overwhelmed. That is totally, totally normal, okay? Totally normal. Think about, the, go back to like when you wrote a med surge exam. I remember having two full mass, like the massive, I don't know if they're four inch ring binders, like massive, studying for a final exam in complex med surge care. And I was like, this is impossible. There's no way in the universe of universes that I'm ever going to know this. And I always gave myself two and a half days. That's after I had study notes made. Every exam I ever wrote, I studied for two full days for after I had my notes made. Final exam, sometimes there was a little less time in between, but that was my ballpark. And I'd be like, Phew. I would read it once and I'd be like, ha, this is ridiculous. There's no way, no way, at, no way in the universe. I'm going to know this in two days. This is humanly impossible. That's what you're going to say the first time you read this textbook and the first time you read the daily review cards. It is repetition. It takes somebody on average seven to eight times for them to read something before they actually retain it. Okay, so it doesn't mean you're not retaining. It means you haven't retained it yet. Don't knock yourself because you can do it. Repetition. By the end of four weeks, this is basically a, a beautiful published copy of what I um, used um, 
to study to write the exam. I mean, it's been added to and things like edited and things like this, but I could get through these cards at the end of four weeks in about 45 minutes. I knew them inside out and backwards and I am not. Everyone's like, oh, you're a prof, but it's easy for you to say because you've already graduated nursing and you're a professor and you graduated with a 99 point whatever. I am not naturally brilliant. I am not. Ask Jen. She studied with me. She was my study buddy all through school and she's watching right now. I am not naturally brilliant. I did not understand the first thing or the first, I did not understand anything the first time I read it ever. I never left a, a lecture knowing anything. Like immediately knowing. Never. Never, ever, ever. Not once. Jen, can you attest to that? Jen and I got through nursing school together. She can tell you. Absolutely not. Nothing came to me easily. So I'm not saying that from a place of superiority or from a place of arrogance. I'm saying that from a place of experience. From a total place of experience, okay? You can know everything here. You can and you will. You just have to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. The beautiful thing about the web-based review is that you can pause it, you can rewind it, you can listen to it over again, you can fast forward it. Um, should I go through one thing, Mel? Should I go through everything first and repeat four weeks? Absolutely. So what I would do is I would go through everything once, okay? Sorry, something's flying around. Go through everything once. Repeat the daily review cards while you're doing that. Usually people separate this into two different packages. Okay? Go through everything once. Feel overwhelmed and know that that's normal. Okay? Feel overwhelmed and then dig in. You will be surprised by how much you retain just by drawing the pictures that we draw, just by watching the pictures that we draw, just by listening to the things that we say. Um, we're very specific and purposeful about how it's taught. So I often, for example, a lot of people will text us. Yes, Mel, motive, come to me anytime for motivation. Mel, message me, be like, I'm not feeling motivated and I will motivate you, but. I was going to say something else, but that wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> I am live on Facebook after all. Um, right? It's, it's normal to feel overwhelmed, guys. It's normal to feel overwhelmed. It's normal to think this amount of content is impossible. It's normal to think like, oh, I'm never going to know it. It's normal. You will. Um, oh, yeah. Let me hang on. I have a whole open package of the cue cards. I don't want to open this. Sorry if you just got like a big close up of my, I'm wearing pajamas on the bottom. Um, how many times do we rack Maxine? How many times do you recommend we watch all the videos? So I don't want to be like, Oh, I'm going to show the cue cards. Just let me just answer this question. I don't want to be like, Oh, I'm just going to give some blanket response, but all depends. And I'll tell you why. For example, for me, Alani, oh, thank you. You rock too. For me, um, when I grad, I spent two of my four years um, in ER nursing and trauma. So when it came to cardiac, I had that. When it came to med surge, I was golden. When it came to like psychiatry and maternal nursing, like I hadn't been there since second second year, second semester, which was when it was taught in my program. So I was freaked out about maternal newborn and I was freaked out about psych because my clinical rotations didn't take me there. Because I went into trauma nursing very, very early on, even in my undergraduate. So it depends where your weaknesses are and where you're feeling less confident. So for me, cardiac, yeah, I wanted to master it. So yes, I went over cardiac and went over cardiac, but I knew it's probably not going to be cardiac that gets me. It's probably going to be like, what kind of lochia is this? Right? So I focused a lot of my time and effort on, like if I were taking this review when I wrote the NCLEX, I wish, um, I would have went over peds lots. I would have went over maternal nursing lots. I would have went over psychiatry lots because I didn't, I just didn't have exposure to those places. So those were my weak spots. Um, psych meds, I probably rarely had ever given them as a student. Um, where like cardiac meds, I had given them lots. 
Um, so when it comes to how many times would I recommend rewatching, it depends on where your areas of weakness are. I would watch the whole review like in its entirety at least twice. And then once you've watched it, what you want to do is test yourself. So I'm still going to show the cue cards, I promise. Here's the step in studying that a lot of people miss. A lot of people miss, um, what a lot of people do is they save their testing their knowledge for the actual exam. No, no, you don't test your knowledge in the test. The test isn't the test of your knowledge. The test is a test of your knowledge, but that's not when you test your knowledge. You don't test your knowledge at the exam, right? You test your knowledge prior to. So what you want to do is open up the textbook and be like, let me see if I can name, for example, I'm going to show the cue cards. I haven't forgotten. I promise. Um, for example, you want to open up to like, let's use the actual book. So you want to open up to congestive heart failure and you want to see if you can like name the stuff on the page. So look at like the titles, congestive heart failure. Can you describe what it is? Contributing factors. Can you say what causes it? Diagnosis. Can you say how you diagnose CHF and treatment? Can you talk about like the meds for CHF? Do you know what it looks like? Do you know what meds we give? Do you know what um, the nursing interventions would be? Our book is really focused around safety because that's what the exams are testing on, right? So that's what you want to test yourself. And then that's when you're going to know, okay, I know everything there is to know about congestive heart failure. You'll know everything there is to know about diabetes because my diabetes story is brilliant. I will say that out loud. It's absolutely brilliant. Everybody I've ever taught diabetes to knows diabetes. Um, this is one of my favorite pages. So if you're studying with us, you know this page, you're familiar with it. Hypotonic, isotonic, hypertonic fluid. Could you fill in those boxes? So open up this page and be like, okay, hypotonic, what does it look like? What are some examples of that fluid? When do we use it? When do we not? This, when you study with a side-by-side, -side, it's up, it's brilliant and it sticks. And you remember, okay, the thing on the right-hand side of the page, I remember something about this. Um, studying with mind maps, it's how Einstein studied. It's how I studied. It's how all the brilliant minds in the world study with mind maps because it's a visual that works because we never use our visual memory. Oh, Maxine never understood the fluids until she saw that page, right? Right? Honestly, as a student, I you might find this surprising because yes, now I'm a professor, I made this page, I developed how to teach it like this, so it might be surprising to you that neither did I. Neither did I as a student. I'm not making that up. I was like, how do you memorize like, 10 bazillion diabetic teaching is the best yes right it's a story everybody remembers a story um the pancreas is the producer and the liver is the locker it's awesome um thank you so much for the compliment i love that see the joy that it brings to my face it just gets i'm, I'm all fired up i might have to go for a run after this but i don't run so i'm not going to <laughs> um I was like, how do you know how many types of fluid there are? It's like, how are you going to memorize? It's, that's impossible. And then I was like, wait a minute. You only have to know like four of them. If you know like four of them, then you know all of them. It's amazing. And like, I, I can't, okay. I should, I'm on a live video, so I have to be careful about what I say. But let me think of a way that I can say this. My knowledge of this page, me knowing this page, as a registered nurse in the trauma room, has saved people's lives. Can't even tell you how many times. Can't even tell you. I couldn't count how many times. So I'm not going to put any other profession or anybody else down in the saying of that. I'm just going to tell you, me knowing this saves people's lives. And you knowing this will also save people's lives. Endocrine lectures. Yes, diabetes. I love teaching diabetes. Because for me, like uh, feedback loops and all of that, whenever there was like a, whenever there was like a complex um, textbook diagram of feedback loops, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't even. That's too many, too many arrows are happening there. There's got to be an easier way. 
<laughs> so hence the diabetes story. And I actually came up with that um, when I was helping somebody close to me get into nursing school. She was in grade 12 biology and she was struggling and I was trying to teach her diabetes and I came up with this story of how to teach it. And I was like, wow, I wish I would have been able to teach it to myself that way while I was a nursing student. Um, and now I use it in every lecture I ever talk diabetes. I lecture pharmacology a lot, so I use it also in farm lectures. Um, I'm so happy you understand that. See, it's amazing. It just brings me so much joy. The understanding, it just brings me so much joy because honestly, I love, I love that people pass. Don't get me wrong. I love that people pass. When people pass with their program, I get as excited as they do, but I get most excited when somebody messages me and says, I got an order the other day for hypotonic fluid and I was like, say what? That, nope. I know because of the side-by-side, da-da-da-da-da, and I'm like, yes, you totally just saved somebody's life with that. Oh, the respiratory sounds. <laughs> there's really, Farina, there's really no length I won't go to for you guys to know things. Do you want to hear it? You want to know what Strider sounds like? I should have been a ventriloquist or like a sound effect person. <laughs> Have you ever heard Strider? It's exactly what it sounds. It's bad. It's a bad sound. Or um, asthma. <gasps> Expiratory wheezing. <laughs> this is how I teach. <laughs> Honestly. In your life, no one has ever done that for you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad you found us. So this is why studying with us is not boring. I make sounds like that. <laughs> I do. Ronky is really hard though. Ronkai or Ronky or however you're supposed to say it. <laughs> that one's hard. <laughs> it's hilarious because we always um, laugh. There's a lot of laugh. A lot of laughing happens in our review because like studying's hard, right? We gotta keep it. We gotta keep it entertaining. So we do that. <laughs> Trust me, there's a whole lot of entertaining going on. We get, uh, we have some good laughs in our live review also. I promise you there's even good laughs on the online review. <laughs> there are good laughs. Oh, cue cards. I, I almost forgot and I promised like how many times. Okay, so these, these are all messed up because they're old ones. Um, but for example, I'm just going to pick one random one. So this is not a setup. <laughs> this is not a setup. Nitroglycerin. So I'm going to read you what's on the back of this card. Nitroglycerin. So if you're studying pharmacology with, um, Aaron, yay. If you're studying pharmacology with a textbook, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to be like, really, do I really need to know how this <laughs> works in the body physiologically? Um, the beautiful thing about these cue cards, it's like, here's the med. Here's what you need to know about it. Here's the safety stuff. Here's what they're going to test you on. Here's what the nurse needs to know. Erin Hill is coming at us from way back when. She probably took our program like, I want to say, four or five years ago. Okay, so nitroglycerin. Here's the back of the card. Here's what it says. Treats angina. It's a potent vasodilator. Decreases cardiac oxygen demand. Administration. Take sublingual tablet or spray at onset of pain. If unrelieved in five minutes, call 911. You can take every five minutes up to three times. Side effects, hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, headache, tachycardia, dried mouth, blurred vision, nurse dot dot. Store it properly in a dark place. It should fizz. That would be normal. Check the expiration. Wear gloves if you're using your cream. Do not chew it if it's a sublingual tablet. Or swallow it. Monitor blood pressure closely. It's literally everything you need to know about nitroglycerin. We do an awesome job of drawing what happens to the cardiac system when nitro is put into the body. Um, you can catch that on YouTube. Like you, there, there's a lot of free content on YouTube. On YouTube, so um, tons of free content. So if you want to see how nitro actually opens up the cardiac um, veins and the cardiac, the major arteries in the heart to allow the oxygen to flow through, there's a brilliant 
um, visual on how that actually works and you will be like, oh, that's how nitro works. I get it now. I never understood intracranial pressure, but today when I was studying with you, I understood it. Woo, yes! Intracranial pressure, a combination of three things. One of three possible things, you got it. This, I should do this every day. This is like making my, making my entire life right now. Cause I, we get this like amazing feedback and the light bulb moments and everybody understanding and the live review. And I'm just missing that. Um, because you're all studying online with us. So I'm missing that. Like, yes, you get it. Yes. Now we're studying. I mean, we do it in the, the web based review. For example, we, we put it all together. So it'll be like, um, you start with fluid and electrolytes. We teach you acid base with a party horn. You're going to get, you're going to be an acid base ninja, ninja by the time you finish with um, the body balance section of our textbook. So then when we teach respiratory, we'll be like, okay, let's think about acid base. If you have a patient and this is happening, tell me what their acid base imbalance is. And you know it immediately. It's like, you don't even have to think about it. And then I'm like, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'll be like, Oprah, yes, you get it, and you get it, and you get it, and you get it, and you get it. It's that exciting. That's how excited I get about it. I get so excited. To say I'm passionate would be a slight understatement. Of the understatement of the universe. <laughs> like, studying with us cannot possibly be boring. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm so happy you understood intracranial pressure. I really hope you're still doing this thing in three years. Absolutely, Katie. We will, we have a bridging program. Don't you worry, we ain't going anywhere. Ain't, ain't a word because it ain't in the dictionary. I think it is in the dictionary actually right now. I think they smartened up and put in the dictionary. Of course we will be doing this. It will be even better in three years. Um, we're always taking feedback and all, our only goal is to get better. So we will be here. 7.35, 7.45, yeah, you got it. 35 to 45, 22 to 27. I haven't looked at this in forever, but I just know it. You got it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna do something fun, but I need to like give you guys notice. So maybe like everyone that's currently studying with us, which is like hundreds of people, I'll email them and I'll be like, everybody go live on Facebook with us this day at this time. And I'm just going to do rapid. Like, do you know it? Do you know it? Do you know it? And you'll be blown away. Like you think you're not retaining. I think it was, was it Mel and one other person that said, I feel like I'm not retaining enough. Yes, you are. You'd be blown away at the questions I could ask you that you would know the answer to. And you'd be like, Whoa, I know that. Yes, you know it. Yes, you know lots of stuff. For example, I don't want to ruin it for people that ha haven't taken our program, but if I'm hyperventilating, <laughs> what am I losing? Think of the party horn. I'm losing acid. That means I'm becoming what? I'm becoming basic. So if I'm hyperventilating, you walk into a patient's room and they're hyper hyperventilating, you can automatically tell me they're at a risk for respiratory alkalosis. How much is the program CC is asking? So the program is, there's a discount code right now for $50 off with the code MAY50, um, which brings it to 300 US dollars. Our funds, our price is in US dollars because we ship all over North America. And that comes with this almost 300 page textbook, this cue card package, um, like 40 hours of online teaching where we teach you all of this. And access to us as on-call professors for all of your content and confidence questions. Um, I've never, ever, ever had anybody say that it wasn't worth it. I would, I'm, and I, to say that like on a live video um, is a pretty bold thing to say, but we have 100%, 100% satisfaction. And we give every single person that's ever taken our program ever a feedback survey. We are pretty proud of that number. Um, I'm glad you tuned in. If you want to know more about like what the program is and how it works, CC, just watch this from the beginning. Cause I talk about, um, what actually this actually ships to your door and then you log in online and we teach you all of the things. Um, so going back and watching that might be helpful for you. There's also tons of free content on our YouTube channel and dash powerment nursing. And we're also on Instagram at for empowerment. Thank you so much, Farina. It actually works on the actual exam, 
hundred percent. I'm so glad you guys started interacting. Maybe it just takes like 30 minutes of me talking to myself until you guys feel like not too shy to hop in and ask some stuff. I should probably hop off of here because I don't want to make the video too long or like no one's going to want to watch the replay because we're all busy individuals and we see like a 45 minute video and we're like, nah, <laughs> I will skip that one. Um, so I'm going to sign off, but you can reach me anytime through Messenger if you have more questions or if you were too shy to pose a public comment. Hi, Kathy. You're just catching the end of this, so um, I'm going to post the replay after this and you can catch the replay because um, you're just catching the end of our talk. A lot of great questions, so thanks everybody for participating in that. Um, have any questions, message us. If you're studying with us, you have content questions, shoot us a message. Um, we're here for you anytime, all the time. I live in Messenger and I also have insomnia, so I'm there at like 1, 2 in the morning. <laughs> I can I can do a lot of teaching about insomnia, but it's one of those things that I can't really take. Oh, Kathy, thank you so much. It's one of those I I'm really good at giving advice to my patients about insomnia, not so good about taking the advice. Us nurses, eh? Right? Mm -mm. Do as I say, not as I do. Stay off screen time an hour before bedtime. Ugh. <laughs> sure will sure do now there's even more of you watching so I just want to stay and hang out with you anybody else like the best teacher to patients but then when it comes to yourself you're like mm. <laughs> that's me especially when it comes to like sleep health I am not a, a sleep person my brain's always going. And then, like, my partner just goes to bed and is just out, like, in two seconds. I always tell him, like, he's, it's a superpower. He has a superpower. I would love to have that superpower. I don't have it. But makes great for midnight nursing shifts and then all-day teaching. But that works. And there's coffee, which you shouldn't have after 4 p.m. if you have insomnia, Ashley. But I do. I'm so sad, Kathy, that you just joined and now I'm signing off. Um, but you can reach me anytime. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciated all your questions, all of your comments. Everybody that had something nice to say, honestly, it means so much to us. We are so super thankful. We aren't like a, uh, we are an international company, but we're, we don't have like a bazillion dollar budget to put ads up everywhere like a lot of other places do. So we really really appreciate um everybody sharing their experience everyone that comments on things um everyone that cheers us on and shares their experience with other people tells other people zara i'm never gonna get off of here if like my, my favorite people keep joining this um so we super super duper appreciate every single one of you guys it means the world to us Zara, one of my favorite students, like ever. How you doing? I just love everybody I teach. I really do. I really, really do. I taught her in real life, to be specific. <laughs> in real life, as opposed to virtual life. Back in first year. All the way back in first year. You're just catching the tail end of this, darling, so you should probably go back and watch the replay. We talk about study tips and all that good stuff. Okay, I gotta get off of here because my favorite people are gonna keep on coming and then I'm never gonna log off and no one's ever gonna watch the replay because it'll be too long. Um, but here anytime for you. Love you all. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Ashley, for just showing support. Let's do this more often. I'm at work. 100%. Yes. Yes. I have no qualms whatsoever. Hopping on here live and just getting you fired back up, Mel. Anytime you need to be fired up. It's like quarantine though, you know? Like I don't I don't have real clothes on on the bottom, but this is probably the first time I put real clothes on top for a long time. <laughs> and then like having to... Do I have to look human? 
to do this more often. This is actually, this, believe it or not, this is an upgrade from what, what I did look like before I hopped on here. But for you, Mel, I will. I promise. I promise. I think it's, I love coming, I love, we do Facebook Lives, um, Linda and I, we have lots of Facebook Lives, but we film them professionally, like, in a studio, because we're professional company, and so we can't see your comments, because it's actually filmed from a distance, and we're, like, at a table in front of a nice backdrop, but I love this, like, my ability to read your comments and interact. It's way more fun, for sure. Not that I don't like making videos in a studio with Linda because they're, they rock also, but this is just, I feel like I could just reach out and hug y'all. And I love that. So I'm sending you virtual hugs. Everybody stay safe. Everybody stay home. We need to lead by example. It's a wonderful time to stay home and study <laughs> if you're able to. Okie dokie, if you have any questions about anything, with or without makeup, you still look beautiful. Ah, oh, you're my favorite. I don't have my glasses on, so I can hardly read your name. Out of BC is my favorite, 100%. <laughs> if you can't read her comment, she just said, with or without makeup, you still look beautiful. That's my favorite. All y'all here, she's my favorite. <laughs> Professors don't have favorites. Okay, I gotta sign off or I'm gonna stay here. I, I could stay here for hours, 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 hours. I love y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. You can reach me anytime in Messenger, all hours of the night, because I don't sleep. More than happy um, to do that. And if message me if you have ideas for what you want me to hop on here and talk about. Yes, Jasmine just finished endocrine. Tell me all about diet. Tell me everything you know about diabetes. <laughs> yes. Jasmine, you got this. I know exactly. I can't even see your picture, but I know ex exactly who you are. We talk through Instagram often. I feel like, are you that Jasmine that I talk to on Instagram? Yeah, I, feel, I think you are. I feel like you are. I'm so blind without glasses on. I don't even know where my glasses are. And when I put them on, because I have these lights on, um, all you can see... Is like the light. Yes, you are that Jasmine. Perfect. It's mental health week. That's a big deal. I have so much to say about mental health, and mental health right now is a massive struggle. Yes, you're the Jasmine that messages on Instagram. Perfect. I have like a Jasmine that messages on Instagram, and a, a Jasmine that has a different spelling from your name that messages through Messenger. So I'm like, I feel like your Instagram, Instagram Jasmine. That's how you're in my in your in my mind. You are my Instagram Jasmine. <laughs> That's who you are to me. In my brain. I can't find my glasses. I can barely see anything, but you know, if I can put an IV in somebody's arm without glasses on, I can I can get through this. <laughs> but you can feel veins, so that was probably not a great analogy. Probably not the best analogy. Do a video, do a video, do a video. <laughs> yes. I would I would try and talk my significant other. Adrian is his name, into doing live videos on, about IVs, but he's a chicken. He's such a chicken. I will definitely, definitely, definitely do a video on Mental Health Week, 100%. I think that's a great idea. I have so much to say. I could go on for hours about mental health. We have, yeah, absolutely. If you have questions, this is why I'm coming on live on our page, because normally we do a, an in-person review in April and May. Um, but I could go on about mental health for hours, hours, Kathy, hours. Um, but yes, I can come on here live for questions. Absolutely. For sure. I have no issues about answering your questions live and put me to the test. I'm down for that. Um, also you can send us questions in messenger anytime. We're happy to answer them. I'm at work, so I can't listen right now. If you can make it available for me. Yes, absolutely. 
I will be posting the, the replay and you can watch it from the start because we talk a lot about studying, um, strategies for studying. If you're watching the replay of this on YouTube and you're like, who is she talking to? It's the replay of a live video on Facebook. So I'm addressing people's comments. <laughs> people who see this on YouTube are going to be like, what is she talking to? Type two is me. And that's when your pancreas produces a little insulin. Yes, type two. Absolutely. We also, Jasmine, so you know, on you, on our YouTube channel, I keep saying this because a lot of people don't know, on our YouTube channel, N-Powerment Nursing, we have interactive test questions. There's like thousands of them published there. So it's like we read a test question, the, the question is posted, and then we talk about the possible answers, and then we talk about the rationale to the right answer. And we also talk about strategizing how to answer different questions. There's tons of content on our YouTube channel and tons of interactive video questions on our YouTube channel um, that you would love. I can come on here too and do like question time. Usually we're in like a studio and it's all pre-planned. So we're like, oh, what can we do? We still need to interact. I'm just gonna go live from my bedroom. Live from my literal bedroom. Yeah, there's lots of them there. And you can like comment the answer, watch the playback of the rationale, all that stuff. Okie dokie. What time is it? I can't believe one of my children have not come in here to disrupt us. Definitely need help with studying strategies. Lots. Yes, for sure. Any other ideas you have for like... You want me to come on and talk about this. Send me a message with your ideas. Sometimes I post and I'm like, hey, what does everybody want to talk about? But that gets like little engagement. So I feel like when I'm live here, if I could say comment on this video with a topic you'd like to talk about, or you want me to come live and talk about this question, or you want to talk about select all the apply questions, or you want to talk about whatever it is, um, give me your, like, I want to hear from you. Give me your ideas on different things I can come on here and talk about or information you want on something, um, practice questions, live practice questions, whatever it is. I, I want all, give me all the ideas. Give me all the ideas. We want to give you value. That is our goal. Among a lot of other goals, value, confidence, success, critical thinking, confidence, and content. The triple threat. Okay. Stay safe. Sorry, my dresser's right in front of me. That, that was that was a drawer. Help with select all that apply would be amazing. Okay, Maxine, I will do that. But if you go on our YouTube channel and you search select all that apply, we literally have videos about just that. How to approach select all that apply questions. Good night, Jasmine. Yes, message me on Insta. I will be there. I'm so thankful that you all have come and hung out with me for this time. It's been awesome. It's filled my cup. It's been a lot. Like, I miss my students. I miss my students. So it's been hard. It, social isolation is a struggle because, like, my job fulfills me so much. Yeah. There's tons. Tons of videos with approaching select all the pie questions. We talk about all the different types of questions. What's the difference between a high level question and a low level question? Bunch of stuff like that. So you can literally like search that video on our YouTube channel. Um, so hanging out with you guys has totally filled up my cup because I miss, I miss my students. I miss my people. Teaching nurses is what I love to do. So having to do that from a social distance has been sad. It's been sad. But I've loved hanging out with you guys. I could do this every day for like eight hours a day. I could stay here all night. My husband's probably watching a zombie movie right now. So <laughs> the candidness of doing a, a video from home, right? So thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any questions about our program, message us. If you want to know more about this package, also CPNRE package, message us. Um, if you're unclear about how it works, message us. Read the reviews on our Facebook page. Our website is www.n-powermentnursing.com. There's a $50 off coupon code right now with code MAY. It's MAY, right? MAY50. 
comes with this whole package, all of the teaching and access to on-call professors of nursing. And let me be honest, I love nursing students. So if you have a question and you haven't purchased my program, I will still help you because I still want you to succeed, okay? I still care. We care deeply about your success, okay? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can like, comment, and share on this video. Send me all of your ideas. Stay strong. We're all going to get through these difficult times. Not just the NCLEX, the whole COVID-19 thing. We're going to get through it all together because that's what we do. Mwah. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I, mean, I miss you already and I haven't even clicked the finish button.